Well, thank you so much for coming back and joining me for this week's Dollar Tree Gold. So please excuse the nose strip. I am a little under the weather. I can't breathe through my nose, so gotta wear the nose strip. Anyway, um, today I will be sharing with you the Pure Silk Hair and Body Oil. So I got both kinds that they had at my Dollar Tree. So if you want to see if these are any good, see me applying it, see if they actually work and if they're worth your dollar, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video on budget beauty, so it could be a cool Dollar Tree find, it can be hair care, skin care, makeup, a little shopping haul, it just really does depend on the day of the week, so please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, turn it on to all, so that way you are notified every single day that I upload, which is seven days a week. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I also have a brand new channel. It's Gourmet on a Budget. I am uploading seven days a week on that one as well. It's all about food. So it'll be recipes, taste tests, trying out um, new food items. So I will link it down below. So make sure you go to go and subscribe to that one as well. Okay, I'm done plugging my stuff. So um, I went ahead and I picked up these Pure Silk Hair and Body Oils. At my local Dollar Tree. Pure Silk, from what I knew, is a like a shaving cream brand. I really like Pure Silk shaving cream. I don't use shaving creams a ton, but it is a really good brand. So when I saw these at my Dollar Tree, I knew how to pick them up. I got Nourishing Tea Tree Oil and Moisturizing Coconut. Okay, so this is a four fluid ounce bottle, so it is a lot of product for a dollar. Okay, it is cruelty free, which Good job, Pure Silk. Um, I feel like these um, more affordable Morans, they are going cruelty free, which is amazing because there's a lot of people out there that can't afford more expensive products that are cruelty free. So good job that these cheaper brands are going cruelty free. I think that's really, really awesome. So the very, very first ingredient is mineral oil. So um, I would not recommend using this on your face at all. Uh, mineral oil can clog your pores, so just be aware of that. But mineral oil is moisturizing. It does create a barrier on the skin to help keep moisture inside that those skin layers and uh, help protect those lipid layers. So um, any kind of oil does put up a barrier, so that's not really surprising. So mineral oil, um, sunflower seed oil, canola oil, okay. Um, Meadow foam seed oil, olive fruit oil, uh, vitamin A, vitamin E, tea tree oil is in this one. Um, coconut oil is in the coconut one, so that is cool that um, what's actually labeled is actually in here. They are a little bit lower in the ingredient list, so they're not going to have as much. So this is mostly mineral oil, sunflower oil, that kind of stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and give them a try. My hair's a little frizzy today. It does happen from time to time. I want to go ahead and smell these. So, not much of a scent, a tiny, tiny, tiny hint of coconut, but it's almost scentless, which for a lot of people, that's really, really nice. There's a lot of people out there that don't like a heavy fragrance um, in their skincare or hair care, so. Honestly, this smells like baby oil to me. A very, very light baby oil. Okay, so um, I'm going to try both on my hair. No, okay, so I'm going to try the coconut oil on my skin. I'm going to try the tea tree oil in my hair. So um, I do like the packaging. It's just very simple packaging. So but that's cool that it does have all those oils in it. Olive fruit oil is awesome. Um, the very last fragrance in here is, uh, sorry, the very last ingredient in here is fragrance. So that's really cool that it is on the very bottom of the list. So, okay, it's made in Canada. So let's go ahead. So this is a legit oil. Um, the packaging seems pretty secure. Yeah, almost no scent. Okay, very baby oily, but I'm going to go ahead and just apply it to my hair. Okay. Sorry, my hair is still kind of falling out, but I'm going to ignore that. So, yeah, that, I mean, that completely 
really like help with the frizziness. That's nice actually. I'm gonna do a little bit more because my ends are always really dry, so I'm just gonna do like a touch. Um, I think this would be a really good like massage oil. It's like really thin and it's not sticky. I've tried some oils. Um, some hair oils that are very like kind of thick and sticky, very silicone-y. I didn't see any silicone in this, which is nice, but that totally helped kind of, um, it definitely kind of died down the frizz and it's very soft. I like that. Okay. Is there silicone? I didn't see any silicone in here. No, I'm not seeing any silicones. So that is good. So I don't see any dimethicone, any silicone, anything like that. So, okay, so now I'm gonna try the coconut oil on like my elbows and stuff like that. Very, very slight coconut scent. It's really nice. This is gonna be awesome for my feet. I think that this would be a great product to put in your bathtub if you like um, taking like baths with oil. I think this would be a great product for that. Uh, just of course be very careful when you're getting in or out, but that is really, really nice. I like that a lot. So my first impressions of the Pure Silk Spa Therapy Hair and Body Oil is I really like these. Um, I don't use hair oil a ton, but I think this would be a great product if you do have dry hair, if you have a lot of flyaways, a lot of frizz. I think this would be awesome to have around four ounces for a buck. That is a huge amount. I mean, you're, it's gonna take a very long time to get through this. I mean, that is a very, very, very large amount for a buck. Um, very, very slight, slight very, very lightly fragranced, um, almost none at all. Yeah, it's it's so lightly fragranced, um, I don't even notice it. I really have to like think about it and like look kind of like look for it. Very, very lightly fragranced. Um, but yeah, I mean, my hair looks wet, which it will soak in and everything, but that feels really, really nice. It absorbed into the skin very, very quickly, which is nice. I mean, my, my hands are still a little bit shiny. But yeah, um, yeah, these are awesome. If you really love oils, um, if you use them on your hair, your skin, um, I, I would definitely recommend checking these out. Yeah, the very first ingredient is mineral oil. There's canola oil in here, but I mean, it, it, I, it's still going to do the job. Um, I do like that there's actually the ingredients, there's actually tea tree oil on this one and there's actually coconut oil on this one. So I do like these a lot. I think they'd be great for um, stepping out of the shower and like a lot of people will just gently pat off and then put oil all over their body if they have very dry skin. I can see a ton of uses for these and yeah, I really like them. Packaging is cute, you get a lot and yeah, I think they are definitely worth the money. So. They are definitely a Dollar Tree gold. So if you are in your local Dollar Tree and you do see the Pure Silk Spa Therapy hair and body oils, pick them up. I don't think you'll be disappointed, especially if you're looking for a very cheap and affordable massage oil, hair oil, something to just throw on your body when you get out of the shower. I mean, for a buck, you really can't beat it. Um, it is, um, there's no silicone and there is no dimethicones in these, which I think is awesome. Um, so yeah, it's just pure oil with a little bit of fragrance, the very last ingredient. So heck yeah, definitely, definitely a Dollar Tree Gold. Once again, don't use it on your face, it can clog your pores, but I'd say from like here down, go wild if that's what you like to do. I will definitely be using these on my feet, my hair, and you know, elbows, knees, those really dry places, uh, especially where we're going into fall here very, very soon. So. Heck yeah, these are definitely a find. They were definitely weird. I'm just like, okay, I gotta pick them up. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's Dollar Tree Gold. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up 
and share it. Not only does it show that you're enjoying my content, but it also gets the word out on some really awesome, very affordable products. So that's a win-win for everybody. Um, also leave a comment down below. When the weather starts getting drier, do you use body oils or do you use oils in your hair? I'd love to know down below in the comments. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. I should have another video that should start autoplaying, or you can always click on one of the ones that's popping up around the screen. So yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.